This task gives you an opportunity to compare types of things and also use proportions to be able to solve values. So it starts off with saying you can print three photos every two minutes. Well, how long then is it going to take you to print 14 photos? So if we use proportions, we can find that missing value. So when we cross multiply, 3 times x is 3x and 2 times 4 is 28. Then to be able to solve for x, we divide both sides by 3, leaving us with x equaling 9.33. So it's going to take 9 and a third minute in order to pre produce 14 photos. Then, say 9.33. Then it asks, let's compare these different categories of things. Do they compare part to part? So each one of these is being contributed to the whole. Um, are they comparing the part to the whole? Um, well, I guess part to part is contributing, you know, understanding the proportion of we need this much A and this much B to combine to make the whole amount. Um, and then, or are the two items may be similar, but they, they don't contribute to some overall whole value. So if we're looking at McDonald's burgers to Burger King's burgers and the preferred ratio, well, um, neither one of those contributes to some whole or is a part of the whole. So it is just thing to thing, okay? Um, um, and then red rocks to total rocks. Well, red is makes up a part of the total, okay? And so, oh, or I guess in here it was called part to part, part to part. Dogs to cats, again, they're not contributing to some whole quantity, so it's just going to be a thing to thing. Um, girls to whole student body, girls are a part compared to the whole. They're, the girls presence is a part of the whole student body, but it's just one portion that you're looking at. American dollar to Canadian dollar. They might have a similarity in that they're both money, but they aren't making up a portion of each other or a comparison of two different parts contributing to the whole. So it's just a thing to thing. And white milk to chocolate milk in a recipe. Well, white milk is one part and the chocolate milk is another part and they're both contributing to the whole. The last part of this task is asking us to compare powdered drinks or these sports drink uh, mixtures and proportions. And so the values they give us are part to part, that both of those things are contributing to the whole quantity of the sports drink that's made. So I can't necessarily just turn it into a, oh, one part water, four parts, uh, or one part mix, four parts water, so it's a quarter. Well. It's, it's not a quarter of the total, it is a total of five cups being combined to make this entire energy drink, though one of those cups is powder. So our proportion is really, or our value is really one-fifth of the entire mixture is powder. Same thing here, two of the five cups of the drink are powder, three of the eight cups in that total drink uh, are made up of powder, and then three of the nine cups of the energy drink are powder. So as long as we're making sure that our denominator in this setup is reflecting the total quantity of cups put together to make the mixture, then we can start really being able to accurately compare them. And we wanna go ahead and convert these to their decimal equivalent. So if I have one-fifth, I know that that is 0.2 or 20% of the mixture is powder. If I'm comparing two-fifths, uh, this would be 0.4 or 40% of the mixture is going to be powder. So that's going to be a lot sweeter than the, the previous one. Three-eighths is... 0.375, which converts to 37.5%. And finally, 
3 ninths reduces to the benchmark fraction of 1 third, and I know that 1 third is 0.33, so 33%. I'm then needing to put these in order from the sweetest to the least sweet. Well, mixture 2 had a 40% sweet powder proportion, so it has the highest value. So mix 2 is our sweetest. Mix 3 had the second highest percentage of sugary powder in it. Mix 4 followed up after that. And finally, mix 1 was the most watery mixture for the energy drinks.